Hey guys, Josh here. So, just playing some old school today. Haven't, like, apart from this week, I haven't played old school in literally like two months. So, I decided to log on again um, this week and just play a bit. And it's been pretty fun, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to keep AFKing this for a bit. Um, because, like, to be honest, if you find something fun in this game, you might as well keep on doing it. There's no point just grinding out. Uh, skills and stuff, but I've been I've been AFKing both RS3 and old school. Uh, just been doing combat or fishing on here and smithing on RS3. I mean, artisans is literally like the most AFK thing ever. So I've just been buying supplies for that really, and then just AFKing that while doing other stuff. I've been quite rev uh, quite busy with revision and stuff, so I haven't really had time to play too much. So I've just been AFKing whenever I can really. Um, but old school like. Like I said, pretty fun. Um, currently, like my aim is to get a whip. Um, I've started doing some blue dragons to actually make some money, so that actually could happen fairly soon. Um, I've got 70 attack, 70 defense, and 65 strength, so not bad. Um, I'll probably get like all 75 and then decide where to go from there um, in terms of what to get up first, because I've probably like. I guess I could possibly PK like at 75 um, attack and defense, maybe like I guess go for 99 strength. I don't really know. My plan wasn't like was never to PK really. It was more uh, to do bossing. So I'll see like uh, what I'll do with that really. But uh, I saw recently that some mods on Twitter. I'm not sure who it was. They posted some old school um, with the retro armors. So they are bringing back bandos and the armadou armors um so the old god wars that's quite cool but they also bring back the old um metal armor so you've got i'm assuming bronze to rune uh, they're going to bring back as well and uh, those are really cool like i hope i really do hope they bring back rune t gold and um all the god armors because those like Back in the day, full Sara was literally like you were king if you had that. I mean, it was only like three mil, but God Armors was just the best thing ever back in like 07. Um, I remember I had full Guthic, so maybe I'll uh, wear that again when they bring those out. I have actually been doing the whole uh, like I'm not sure what they're calling it, but you can sort of like do ads for rune coins, that kind of thing. Uh, I've been doing that, so I've got like 300 rune coins, I think. So I should be able to buy hopefully all of them. I'm, I'm assuming like the metal armors will come as a set hopefully. Hopefully you don't have to buy um, like each individual metal so like bronze to rune. And then I'm guessing bandos and armadil will be separate but I'll probably definitely get bandos. Not sure about armadil like um, I never really had old armadil and um, I don't know it looks quite good but I probably won't get that. I might get bandos and just the metal stuff which all look really cool. Uh, like Obviously you've got old bandos on here uh, which definitely looks pretty awesome like I do just love these old armors um, I mean while the RS3 graphics are nice like you can't beat I mean if you just got my rune set you can't beat this like I just do love this old school feel uh, with the armors here but um, also in terms of the update they did to RS3 so the whole cabbage um, gorilla bonanza thing whatever they're calling it now I played it like Oh, we've got a random event. I played it like um, twice. I think I did like three goes um, of the whole mini game thing. And the mini game, okay, is actually quite fun, I guess. Like, it's not too bad. For me, though, holiday events, I prefer just a holiday event, which is literally you do it for five minutes, get the reward, then you're done. Like, I'm not really looking for something that you can, you're can you supposed to spend like 10 hours on to get all the rewards. So, not a massive fan of it, but I guess it is quite cool that like the mini games here to stay as well. I don't really know how many people will play it after events over, so it might be a bit dead after that because you kind of do need. There's no NPCs, you do actually need people to play it, so I'm um, not really sure how that will work after. But I guess some of the rewards are actually pretty decent. Uh, like you got all the XP, like mining, um, Slayer, and there's one more. I think it's farming you can get. So I guess it's pretty. Just like it's not too bad um, that XP. Obviously, you can warband mining and farming, but it's their XP uh, decent. They've got stuff like I think it's Cedar Side, and they've got the Slayer VIP ticket. So um, again, the Slayer thing like that's a fairly good idea. Um, that you can sort of choose between two tasks. That's quite nice. But it's a shame that it is from um, this mini game. Like it'd be cool. If maybe you could buy tickets with points, possibly. 
Um, so it's actually relating to Slayer because like if you don't want to play the mini game, then you don't really have the option of do, uh, using these tickets. But other than that, I mean like. I guess it's a decent update, nothing fantastic there, and there wasn't really anything in the patch notes worth mentioning, I don't remember. Uh, I do know they've like increased the game engine, like um, sort of controls from six to nine actions per cycle, so in theory you should be able to switch better with that. It still doesn't work perfectly, but I know they are working on uh, switching and making that a lot faster as well, so um, that'd be cool to see when it's actually working and everything. And I guess that's pretty much it, didn't really talk about much, but I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me if you want to see more old school videos in the future, because I'll definitely do some more as I am playing at the moment. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.